last time on the thrilling adventures of Godbrush Threefwood, Mighty Pirate. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Three, oh, I two, say that. one. Huh? Clever boy. Wait for it. Welcome. The Voodoo God. Lady. The Voodoo Lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I've another got so many questions. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you oh. bloated old sea hag? Yeah. What was that? He talked to the bird. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No, it's me. Me, Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty, Mighty Pirate. pirate. It's me, Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. Will Guybrush make it off Flotsam Island? Will he gain control of his pox ridden hand? Find out today on Monkey Island. I'm out of here. Hey there, Threepwood. Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the Death Cloud? The Death, death cloud? cloud? The Death Cloud. Pox of LeChuck. The dun, pox dun, dun. of LeChuck. Mm. Pox of LeChuck. Nah. Two on the nose, not enough pizzazz. Death Cloud is punching. More in your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Pirates, huh? Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Grim Digit. I'm back. Oi, so you are. What do you know about breakable bottles? What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr. That'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there's <coughs> a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Ow. Impressive. Painful. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here. Show you how it's done. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. You couldn't have shown me with the bottle that I have rather oh. than, you know, a so bottle of your own. Your unbreakable use. bottles are, in fact, open by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Was that a threat? Ooh, nice unicorns. Come on. Run this way. Oh, I can't get up that way, though. I've got a ship again. Yeah, yeah, you got a ship. And we gotta climb up through this. As we walk. Climb, 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 climb. Up you go. Ah. And Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. Glad to have know. you, sir. I really don't... Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. You didn't even no, let me finish. Excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. Sorry, sir, but my pirate doesn't need you. Hmm. All right, let's check out the ship. Ooh, we even have a cannon. Let's shoot off the cannon. Hey, Fire! Spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons. I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa! The wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. That's something. Uh -oh. My beautiful unicorns! His unicorns! His beautiful unicorns! Exit. Oh. Uh, you gotta get what to get off the ship. Yeah. Alright. Tally ho! Back to the unicorns! The beautiful unicorns! Oh, hey, look what he just left lying about that no, I didn't pick up at all. It's amazing how many of Light's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. Yeah, indiscriminate cannon fire, not to mention, uh, stealing stuff. 
What do you mean? We didn't steal it. It wasn't stolen. We found it. Okay, let's break some bottles. Hey, knock it off, hand. Ow! Looks like I'm gonna have to get my hand under control if I want to break this bottle. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe the doctor will be have some way to get my hand under control. The doctor. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. I'd go with Creepy. The door. Knock, knock. The doctor is in. Bonjour. Hi there. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? You Guy look like a pompous ass. Mighty pirate. Zit Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic. We must investigate at once. Yes, doctor, help me with my hand. It's doing obscene stuff. Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, hmm. can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah, yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter cyclonic. Yeah, uh... Forget I asked. Yes, yeah, perfectly normal. Alrighty. A friend of mine says that my hand is cursed with a voodoo pox that can only be cleared up with a magical sponge. <laughs> voodoo? <laughs> Voodoo is nothing but Voodoo. an unenlightened baby teller for Voodoo. ignorant and superstitious masses. The only path to true knowledge is to be a, a rigorous scientific inquiry, preferably conducted by a suitably aristocratic mind. So Namely, my you, is right? nothing more than a disease. A disease we will cure with, with science. silence! Yeah, what's a guy like you doing on Flotsam? So how did a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph. Oh, I'm glad Many blah, years blah, ago, blah, 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 I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. King Louis. Those were edited, Louis the Who. Tending Which to the Louis? Many of the aristocracy, navigating the scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in the scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists. Excuse me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. What do you bet that's the result? The final result <laughs> is the piranha pools, huh? this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Well, then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired How to bring me many new pirate patients okay. over the years. Or for him, I should say. Mm. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Oh, Ouch. monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. Yeah, in it doesn't. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage it... may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. Awesome. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Oh. Hey. No, we're trapped. But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood, the only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Seriously? Isn't that a little rash? Seriously? No, I don't want to lose my hand. Rash. It's my only hand. Which is why we'll have to amputate. And it's the wedding ring. But not to worry, Monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to uh. my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! Now, and now the heads if you'll just it. relax here mm. a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> we don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I we don't want to cut off our hand there. at all. Au revoir. What a loon. But at least my hand seems under control for a while. I'd better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. I wonder what's in that box. 
That's where I keep poor little Jacques. Now that I've nursed him back to health after his terrible ordeal, I'm training him to help out around my laboratory. Mm -hmm. It's a key. I can't reach it from this position. It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach oh, it from God, this position. Oh, God, his eyes kind of went wiggly there. It's some sort of foot pedal. I can't reach it from here. Hmm. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm. The Jacques in the box. It's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it La Desangergraph. I call it creepy. Alrighty. Got it. Oh, yeah. Feats don't fail me now. Score one uh -huh. for the pirate with the pointy feet. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Huzzah! Hey! <laughs> Let yourself go, Jock. Jock is out of the box. Jock! Bad monkey! <laughs> After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Listen, Mom, <coughs> if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? Does he understand That's what you're saying? That's the universal symbol for yes. Scratching your butts, the universal symbol for yes, huh? It's a disingograph of the inside of my hand, bones and all. This looks like it might do something interesting. Let's see. Seen electrocuted. That looked unpleasant. And what does the Let's other see what this do? does? Bananas from heaven! Thanks, Banana God. Do the pirate. What's <laughs> up? That's a very well trained monkey. To the machine, or you'll be electrocuted. Hey, he likes that. And now my hand is nearby. The monkey knocked over that picture of my hand, but I can't reach it from here. How about from here? Well, all right, feet. Make yourselves useful. He's all very right. dexterous. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Whoops, I meant to do that. You did in this case. <laughs> Ding! Change it. Get the banana. Hey, magnet. Wow, an electromagnetic monkey! I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. You have some weird dreams, dude. <laughs> wow, he seems excited about something. Next. Yes, back to the pirate. Come to me, my friend. With your little key. Out up. Yep, you get it, you get it. Come on, That's unlock it. me, unlock me. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Unlock me. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. He must be very, very dexterous. Huh. Ta-da! 
Freedom! Monsieur Sripwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Sorry, Doc, no. but I think I no, should get a second uh, opinion. Yet. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Weird monkey. <laughs> but hey, he likes what he likes. Stop. Let him have it. I must have your beautiful, justifying hand. Come back! Slovenly parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Hmm. A parrot hunter, eh? Uh oh. Nah, 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 nah. Stay tuned and subscribe for more thrilling adventures with Dragon Twilight on Monkey Island.